Hello, friends. Today, let's solve the campus bikes problem. On a campus represented as a 2D grid, there are n workers and m bikes with n less or equal than m. Each worker and bike is a 2D coordinate on this grid. Our goal is to assign a bike to each other among the available bikes and workers. We choose the worker bike pair with the shortest Manhattan distance between each other, and assign the bike to that worker. If there are multiple worker bike pairs with the same shortest Manhattan distance, we choose a pair with the smallest work index. If there are multiple ways to do that, we choose a pair with the smallest bike index. We repeated this process until there are no available workers. The Manhattan distance between two points, P1 and P2, is Manhattan. P1, P2 equal、uh, absolute value of P1 dot x minus P2 dot x plus absolute value of P1 dot y minus P2 dot y. We need to return a vector result of length n, where result i is the index. Of the bike that the ice worker is assigned to. So what does that mean? Basically, this problem is actually a sorting problem. We need to sort the worker bike pair first by their Manhattan distance. Secondly, we sort by the、uh, worker index.、Uh, thirdly, we sort by their bike index. So for this example, let's see. We first,、uh, this is the workers' index. This is the bikes' index. So we can get the two times two, which is four pairs. We calculate their distance respectively. So we get three, six, two, three. We first sort by the distance, then the work index, then bike index. So basically, we can use a priority queue. To, uh, to offer all these distance and the work in、uh, work bike index into the priority queue, but the time complexity should be n times m times log m times m, so、um, it is ex- expensive. But you, if you look carefully, the actually the Workers and bikes index at most one thousand. So actually, the Manhattan distance at most two thousand. So we can just use a budget sort because the distance is、uh, very limited. The max distance is just two thousand. So we can use a least array. The array we. Um, use the size of two thousand and one, um, and、uh, at each index we use a list to append the pair, the worker bike pair that their distance is equal to that index. For example, this is the four pairs, right? We get this pair equal to distance two. So in this list, where the index equal to two. We have this、um, ar- array, which is one two. That means the one, which is the、uh, index one in the workers. This will be the index zero in the bikes. You see the,、uh, this pair. And, and then for this distance three, we have two pairs. So they both in the list. List three, actually, this is the list. Uh, zero zero means the the index zero in the works array and the index zero in the bikes array, which is this pair, and the、uh, index one in the works pair, uh, index one in the works array and index one in the bikes array, which is uh is this pair, and also this is the in- distance equal to six, so uh this is zero one, so other other. List will just be known. So, uh, in the end, we just iterate from the zero to the two thousand. We check if the current list is known. Just、uh, 
skip it. If the current list is not equal to none, we can get the distance. Why this uh, solution is uh, is right? Because when we iterate the distance, it is sorted from the small to the uh, large. And uh, because we append the work and bike uh, pair at a uh, ascending order, so it uh, is it is guaranteed that uh, we get the bikes uh or workers index. We also choose the smaller work index, and we always choose the smaller bike index because we append them in a ascending order. So that is our algorithm. We first uh, make uh, n times m pairs and uh, get their distance. We append them in uh, in our list array, and then we iterate from zero to two thousand to see whether we have a we have assigned the bike to the work already. So in this case, we need a two boolean array. One is assigned. That means the worker has been assigned with a bike. We also need a occupied boolean array. Means the bike has been occupied. If both of uh, this is false, that means we haven't occupied that bike and we haven't assigned a bike to the worker. We can get a result and uh, at the same time mark this to ver uh, to value to true. Okay, so let's write the code. First, get n is a workers dot length, and m is the bikes dot length. We need a result. The size will be n. We need a two boolean array. One is assigned boolean. And boolean occupied new boolean size is m. Then we iterate the workers i less than n i plus plus the four int j equal to zero j less than m j plus plus. We get their distance. We call a distance a function. We pass the workers i and the bikes j. Then we will check. Oh, also we need a list. There will be a list array. Call is list and the list. The size will be two thousand one. Okay. So here, if the list distance equal to none, we should uh, initialize it. List distance will new array list. Then we add that value, uh, this pair, add this int array, which is i and j. Okay, then we iterate all the distance i equal to zero, i less than 2001, i plus plus. We check whether it's not. If list i equal to not, we just continue. Otherwise, we get the size. There will be the list i dot size. Then we try every possible pair size j plus plus. We get the worker will be the first dimension, right? Will be list i get the j's array and it will be the zero dimension. And there will be bike list i get j one. So if we haven't assigned uh, W and uh, we haven't occupied um, B, we can result, we can assign that back to the current worker and uh, mark the W to true and mark the occupied B to true. And finally, return to result. So uh, at last, we need to, we need to implement this distance. First will be worker, then will be the bike. We just need to return their Manhattan distance. Mass absolute value W0 minus B0. 
plus mass absolute value w1 minus b1 okay i think i finish it okay thank you for watching see you next time